Components Introduction. Dai Shu. Dai Shu. Double line Dai Shu. Glass beads dispenser. Five hundred millimeter dispenser. Adjustable dispenser. Double dispensers. Bracket. Glass beads tank. Glass beads tank switch. Pan tank. Handle of rotate mixer. Rotate mixer. Hand fear. Switch of rear fire. Switch of front fire. Switch of pan tank burner. Pan outlet. Indicative rod. Gas valve Igniter Rear wheel holder Tooth box Operation steps Starting operations Connect gas valve to gas tank Turn on gas tank valve Light igniter Ignite the tank burner while turning on a switch. Preheat it about 10 minutes on no flame. Turn off switch for real fire. Notice, keep it at low flame. Ignite for real fire. Notice, preheat it about 10 minutes on no flame. Turn on switch or front fire. Notice, only turn on it when the temperature is below 10 degree. Ignite front fire. Notice only ignite when the temperature is below 10 degree. 8. The summer plastic paint from preheater to pan tank. Lay down indicative rod aligned with water line. Lock the rear wheel. Open pan outlet. Lay down die shoe. Open die shoe. Turn on glass beads switch. Start working. Finishing operations. Close and lift up die shoe. Turn off glass bead switch. Turn off gas valve. Turn off the gas switch after gas burns out. Maintenance. 
wearing part, rear wheel holder, wearing part, plastic strip of glass beads dispenser. Notice when finish the construction. Clean up the remaining paint in the tank. If the remaining paint is not cleaned up, you have to spend much longer time on preheating, which will shorten paint tank's service life. Rear blade and side blades of die shoe must be fully preheated before marking lines about 10 minutes to low temperature of rear and side blades will lead to coarse line surface and sawtooth shaped edge of lines. Front fire should be ignited only when the temperature is below 10 degrees. Rear fire should be kept at low flame in case that rear blade is damaged because of overheating. When pan temperature is too high, decrease fire switch. When pan temperature is too low, increase fire switch. Lock the rear wheel when transporting. Avoid the bump of glass bits quantity controller during transportation. Avoid the bump of rear blades and side blades of die shoe during transportation. FAQ Question 1. How to change a pan tank? Answer. Loosen the pan outlet screws and tighten screws at the bottom of the pan tank, then replace a new tank. Loosen screw of outlet. Loosen screw of pan tank. Remove pan tank. Burner of pan tank. Replace new pan tank. Tighten up screw of pan tank. Tighten up screw of outlet. Question 2. Why do the glass beads sometimes flow on or sink in the line? Why the glass beads floating on the lines, which means the temperature of pan tank or preheater is too low, or the distance between glass beads dispenser and die shoe is too far? Why the glass bead sinking in the lines, which means the temperature of pan tank or preheater is too high, or the distance between glass bead dispenser and the die shoe is too close. Question 3. How to deal with the problem in question 2? Answer. For the floating on the line, first, raise the temperature of some plastic paint in pan tank and preheater. At the same time, major adjustment. Second, adjust the position of glass beads dispenser to close to the die shoe and raise the temperature of paint in pan tank at the same time, minor adjustment. For sinking in the line, First, reduce the temperature of the plastic pan in pan tank and preheater at the same time. Major adjustment. Second, adjust the position of glass beads dispenser to away from the die shoe and reduce the temperature of pan in pan tank at the same time. Minor adjustment. Raise or reduce the temperature of pan in the pan tank. Adjust the position of dispenser. Place the dispenser close to the die shoe. If the glass beads float on lines, why away from the die shoe if they sink below lines? 
Question 4. How to know whether the fire nozzle is blocked? What can we do to unblock the nozzle? Answer. When the nozzle is blocked, it will spit weak fire. All the fire will turn red and mark lines with sawtooth edges. In that case, use a needle to unlock it. Clear up impurities in the fire nose by needle. Question 5. What should we do to replace the broken fire nozzle? Answer. Take down the fire cover, then replace a new fire nozzle. Then paste the liquid room material belt on spiral of nozzle screw. Take down rear fire cover and nozzle. Paste liquid room material belt on spiral of screw. Question 6. How to adjust the thickness of marking lines? Answer. The only factor that affects line thickness is the distance between the rear blade and the ground. Two ways to adjust this factor. First, loosen the hang screw of die shoe, then adjust the distance between die shoe and the ground. Minor adjustment. Adjust the range from 0 to 0 0.5 mm. Second, loosen the screws of rear blade, then adjust the distance between rear blade and the ground. Major adjustment. Adjustment range above 0 0.5 mm. Considering the high temperature, this way is not suitable for working conditions. Loosen hang screw of die shoe, then adjust the distance between die shoe and the ground. The closer the distance is, the thinner the lines are. The farther the distance is, the thicker the lines are. Adjust the position of rear blade like this to make the lines thinner. Adjust the position of rear blade like this to make the lines thicker. The thickness range of marking lines is from 1 to 5 mm for both standard and customerized die shoe. Question 7. What should we do while changing different colors of paint with only one paint tank? Answer. Take down the paint tank cover and the mixer. Wear gloves to shove out paint when the paint is still a little hot. Loosen screws of paint tank cover, then take down the cover mixer and filter. Shove out the remaining paint in the tank. Question 8. Why the tires are solid? Answer to prevent tire explosion when temperature is high. Thank you for watching.